Well, we'll get to nothing the passer later in the program. Here's what Commissioner Roger Goodell had to say to reporters in his traditional post-meeting media availability. It's an ongoing investigation. Uh, it's what we talked about. There were no interim reports. Uh, we have not gotten interim reports. Uh, we do not provide any because we don't have them. Uh, when Mary Jo White is done with her investigation, we will share that with the membership and share it publicly as we committed to before. Uh, and I was very clear with them there's no reason for there to be any speculation uh, at this point in time or discussion until we have the facts. And so that was my message to the ownership, and there was little or no discussion. Are you surprised, are you disappointed that Jim Ursay had strong comments about it? No. How do you like that? How do you feel about it? Pardon me? How do you feel about that? How do I feel about what? His comments. I just said, and I said it to the membership, speculation without facts is not a very positive thing to do. I think everyone deserves to have facts and to make sure those decisions are made with facts. And the membership will have that opportunity. Do you feel that Dan Snyder is good for the league? I feel that everyone deserves the opportunity to make sure that they know the facts. So speculation is not beneficial. I feel that strongly in my heart. So he doesn't have a problem with what Jim Mercy said, but he's counseling the owners against speculation until they can get the results of the report that eventually will be given to them by Mary Jo White, who is doing a follow-up investigation into multiple allegations directly against Daniel Snyder that weren't part of the prior investigation conducted by Beth Wilkinson. This almost sounds like, like a joke. Like I've made this up. Like how convoluted can this be? This is yeah. all, this is the timeline. This is the chain of events. They had a 10 month investigation conducted by Beth Wilkinson that they buried, swept it under the rug, kept it under the rug. So as I see the commissioner talking about, let's not speculate when we don't know the facts, you have access to facts. Beth Wilkinson has a file that for some reason you don't want to see. You've gotten the summaries. You didn't get a report. You know why they didn't get a written report? They didn't want a written report because a written report from Beth Wilkinson would have said, you should require this guy to sell the team. So they have been complicit in this, they being the league office. They have run interference, and I don't know whether it's because Roger Goodell's afraid of what Daniel Snyder may have. Jeff Pash is afraid of what he may have. Jeff Pash, the general counsel, who was implicated in some emails that he shared with former Washington president Bruce Allen that made Pash look bad last year. That was the chaser to the John Gruden emails. Didn't get the same traction as Gruden. Didn't force Pash out of a job, but it was embarrassing. It was a bad look for the NFL. They, for some reason, Chris, July 1 of 2021, buried the evidence that Beth Wilkinson had generated. So, Roger, don't stand up there talking about speculation. We're past speculation. We have an investigation that got the guy essentially suspended, and he's still essentially suspended more than a year later. And he had to pay $10 million and $7 million in legal fees. You have facts. You have evidence already. This isn't speculation. We're just waiting for more. We already have some. Some that got the guy in very deep crap with the NFL. So, and now we're just waiting for, I guess, the final straw that's right. going to break the camel's back. Yeah, well, I guess that's what I was going to ask you, right? I mean, I guess, are they treating yeah, the Beth Wilkinson and, and all of that as just like, hey, that's that's there and done with, and he's been penalized for that, and they're just waiting for the other shoe to fall? And I, I, you know, again, Roger, I think, said the right things. You know, he did a good job in pursuing or, 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 or at least um, supporting Jim Irsay to a degree, like you said there. You know, I do, I do think he has to say the things about, hey, we want more facts to come out. But I, I guess they're not even acknowledging that last. Like, he's paid his suspension, he's paid his fine, and that's that. This is a new ball game they're waiting on here. Or they're waiting for more information from this new investigation to come out so that they can really, I guess, go to the full court press. I don't know, Mike. I'm asking you. I think you. that's the key. Yeah, right? I think that's the key. Right. And, and we'll talk more about the evidence that was – gathered by Beth Wilkinson and how that is impacting current events in a few minutes. There's a lot to get to, and I'm trying to have some sort of logical flow to this right. so people understand how it all fits together. But I think you hit the nail on the head. Roger Goodell is treating what happened in the past as over and done. 
the initial investigation. If they are going to make a run at Dan Snyder, it's going to be a direct result of the evidence that they get in the Mary Jo White follow-up right. investigation. Right. And will that be enough to tip 24 towards saying, make this guy sell? Will there be greater transparency there? Will there be facts and details The Robert Sarver case, the Phoenix Suns owner who was essentially forced to sell when the NBA punished him, they had some facts. There were never facts about Snyder in July of 2021. This time around, it doesn't take much to start the groundswell where people say this guy's just got to go. Now, whether he responds to it that way is a different issue because he's Daniel Snyder. Here's another reason why it was smart for Roger Goodell to do what he did yesterday. If and when the legal crap hits the fan, The NFL will try, as we've seen time and again, to get any litigation in its own in-house secret rigged kangaroo court over which Roger Goodell presides. And we've seen in past cases the things Roger Goodell has said be used against him in the arguments as to why he's not fit to be the person who decides these issues. So smart play yesterday coming off as the voice of reason. Let's not prejudge. Everyone's entitled to a voice. Everyone's entitled to a defense. Everyone's entitled to their side of things. So even though Snyder and his lawyers will still argue aggressively that Roger Goodell is not the person who should be resolving this, if they think Roger Goodell would not give them the ruling they want, it's smart for Goodell to not give them any extra ammunition to say he's not fit to be the one who decides this issue. Yeah, that's right. I, I, that makes sense. I mean, yeah. Well, why? When he can maybe have a, a real say in the matter here. And, yeah, he doesn't want it to look biased uh, as far as sides he's taking or anything. That's what he's got to do is leadership. But, man, I, I uh, again, we'll see where this goes. And, and obviously, we're going to have to wait for the, the Mary Jo White investigation to, to finish here. But I, I just have a hard time thinking that, if it's not like total exoneration as it sits right now, I mean, like total and like, wow, like everything we've heard and all that, it just it all ended up being just some disgruntled employees, you know, throwing stuff out there, which I highly doubt. Right. But uh, I, I just got to think that the owners want him out of there. I, I just I or say I think is speaking for others for sure, or at least it's on their mind. How could they not? I mean, again, it's a one of the best franchises in football that's fallen to crapville over the last 20 years. I mean, it's, it's one of the traditional like organizations in the history of football and they're not relevant, let alone kind of a laughing stock, kind of like got a stadium in the middle of nowhere that nobody, not even their fans want to go to. I mean, just from that aspect alone, like business part of it, I got to think the owners are disappointed in that fact with the Washington you know, franchise, you know, other than maybe the teams in the NFC East who just want to beat their ass all the time. And then the fact that, you know, he's there's, you know, a, a feeling of he could go scorched earth and 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 threaten all of us and all of that. I can't imagine those guys, the, those 31 people, you back them in the corner with threats. Oh, yeah, yeah, they want to keep you around and let you hang around in the club. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, good luck with that. So, you know, again, I I just got to think it's going that way, and we'll see whenever this report comes out. But I'm I'm certainly more interested now after yesterday. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.